everybody, it's Candace from Beacon Hill Books. I'm here with a quick uh, update on my nonfiction November TBR. Um, I'm so excited about this coming month. I love reading nonfiction, uh, but this is definitely going to make me concentrate on it, which makes me very excited. Um, hopefully with the holidays coming, I'll still get the time to read it. I like how it's very relaxed and I like how the challenges are very loose and interpretable. So um, the first one I'm going to mention is, um, which I've mentioned in my autumn TBR, is Mayflower by Nathaniel Philbrick. This just seems right to read in November, obviously. Uh, I love history. I love New England history. I've read books by Philbrick and enjoyed them. Um, so I am hoping that I'll get into this and hopefully finish it. I don't know that these are really considered nonfiction. They're more memoirs, but I have March book two and three. This is by John Lewis, Andrew Aiden, and illustrated by Nate Powell. I read uh, the first one last month. It was very good and Rincey had recommended that you read them in fairly quick succession. So I would like to read those. I guess I should say, this would do the challenge for home, since this is very close to where I live. I think this is, I will say, substance. Um, also a little scholarship and that John Lewis was very inspired and propelled to educate himself and other people. The next books I have physically that I potentially could read is Icebound, One Woman's Incredible Battle for Survival at the North, at the South Pole. Um, this is a book by Jerry Nielsen, and she found out she had breast cancer while she was in Antarctica. High recommendations from a coworker about this book. Um, so I'm going to say this is substance. Uh, this is definitely a lot of strong and independent values in uh, Jerry Nielsen. The other one um, that I've been wanting to read is The Brothers Bulger how they terrorized and corrupted Boston for a quarter of a century. This is also funny to say home, but it takes place in Boston. And it's about uh, Whitey Bulger and his brother, um, Billy. There's a movie out about this, but I've been wanting to read this for a long time. And uh, so I can't believe I'm using it for home when I am. The other two that I potentially could read um, well, one I would I am going to read is Chernob the Chernobyl Prayer by Svetlana Alexievich. Um, that's a read around the world book club. Um, this is considered a modern classic uh, about a nuclear power plant, um, and I don't really know much else about it honestly. Um, but this horrific event happened. It sounded like someone tried to cover it up and it impacted so many people in the country. Um, so that's a potential one. And also I have on hold Shirley Jackson, A Rather Haunted Life uh, by Ruth Franklin. And as much as I would have liked to read this as my nonfiction in, in autumn as well, uh, the autumnal TBR-a-thon. I, I recently read We Have Always Lived in the Castle and then the lottery. I started the sundial, but I don't know that I'm gonna be able to finish it, but I am on a severe Shirley Jackson kick. Like, I don't even know. Like, I think because she was from Vermont, it I get, and I'm originally from there, um, I'm totally inspired by her and sort of her story of being an outcast. I wanted to learn and read more about her so that's my selection and you know who knows it might change it, it, it's always possible but I'm really looking forward to everybody's updates and videos about nonfiction November and hope to hear a lot of great books that uh, I will hopefully get to um, to read as well so thank you guys for watching